What's up everyone? Welcome back to day 39 of my alternate day fasting routine. I woke up in a much better mood than yesterday. So just to reflect back on yesterday, I consumed about 3,500 calories. Um, not a ton of healthy food, pizza, cookies, cake. Am I mad at myself about it? No, because that gets me nowhere. And it's like, I think I've really done a great job at overcoming the situation where you eat terribly and then you just continue to go in this downward spiral and then like you don't care after that, you just continue to eat like, sh eat like shit. I, I, don't, I don't feel like that's a thing for me anymore. But I also think that would happen in times where it's the second half of my cycle and I have such a bigger appetite. So that's not necessarily the case uh, that I've been dealing with lately. Yesterday was supposed to be a fasting day. It was a huge feasting day. So I went into yesterday, I knew I had a graduation party and I'm like, if there's gonna be pizza, um, if I have two slices and two slices only, I can call this a fasting day. But anything more, we're getting into feasting territory and that's what happened. I had four pieces of pizza, like big slices of pizza, and I didn't feel bloated. I almost felt like I didn't even eat anything. Like I was having a really hard time feeling satiated. I had a nothing bunt cake, I had a bunch of strawberries, I had a sugar cookie. Um, later on in the day I had, what was interesting was I ate all that and I just like kept on eating and I was like not reaching satiation at all. I came home after that and I had like two or three dates and instantly I was super full. I'm like, huh, that's weird. I wonder if the fiber in them has anything to do with it. I'm not quite exactly sure. For the first time in a very long time, I did not go on a morning walk or have a morning uh, activity for the day. That's because I have a really important slideshow that I'm completing, so I don't really have the time. But I might get it in later, I'm not really sure. But today's a fasting day, it's already after. Uh, it's approaching one o'clock and I feel really confident that I'll actually be able to go throughout the day with zero calories. Um, I don't feel hunger and I'm just like in, in a workflow in a zone to where I don't think I'll get distracted. Yesterday I did notice I was eating because out of procrastinating. Like it's, I'm having a hard time with technical issues on this thing that I'm working on and so basically what happens for me is that when I procrastinate. I can like use eating as an excuse to not actually get to the task at hand and I was 100% doing that yesterday which is not necessarily a good thing but as long as I catch it and really try to prevent it in the future moving forward then that can be a helpful you know thing to keep in mind. I have been good with steps this week. I've done like over 15,000 steps I think every single day. Um, today's Sunday so, so yeah I'm just like have a lot to get done in terms of like the slideshow that I'm working on today and I think I'll be able to get the day with zero calories. Technically, I've had a couple of consecutive days that have been feasting days, so I'm not really doing too good on the whole 50-50 situation when it comes to feasting, fasting. I haven't had the chance, but I need to go put everything into my spreadsheet to see exactly where I'm at, to make some plans moving forward. Um, so yeah. It's day 40 of alternate day fasting. It's approaching 1 o'clock. I have not consumed any food today. Today's supposed to be a feasting day. Yesterday was a fasting day. I was able to complete yesterday with zero calories. I'll go ahead and just, you know, wait for that round of applause there. And um, today I'm not hungry. I'm busy. So if I don't, if I do eat, it's going to be, I don't know what time. Uh, I'm not overwhelmingly hungry. This is the good news. I went ahead and put in my information on my spreadsheet where I track everything. And I'm kind of looking at, you know, alternate day fasting in 30 day increments and just trying to like improve and learn more every single time, right? So what I have noticed is that when I look at the very first month of how many zero calorie days, I've already done more than that the second month. So that's the good news there. Yesterday I didn't, uh, Able, I wasn't able to walk very much. I think I only took like 6,000 steps, which that is like the lowest in a really, really long time. And with step bet, I'm able to have one day of zero, which is good. And then today I've walked like two miles, but not a ton. So I don't know what I'm gonna do there to get my steps in because I don't wanna start off the week on a, on a day that doesn't count towards my step bet goal. Yeah, I've just been super busy with, you know, being with my family and creating the slideshow for my cousin and so that has really like kept me from you know just not thinking about food um someone tried to shove a taco down my face and a taco truck taco which are the best yesterday but i don't know i was just so depleted yesterday that sometimes i'm like too tired to eat do you know what i mean does that ever happen to you
So my days have just been absolutely insane uh, with not a lot of moments to just sit down, catch up, and tell you guys what I'm up to. But today was supposed to be a feasting day. I just didn't have the time, didn't have the hunger. So thankfully it turned into a fasting day, which is good because tomorrow will definitely probably be a feasting day. So today I had, I did though have some calories for my fasting day, still allowing myself the 500. I had cheese, walnuts, dates, and a cookie. So I know, shit um, in terms of like not nothing super nutrient dense. It's kind of hard this week to sit down and make a healthy meal. I kind of just have to eat what's ever in front of me. And so I just ate what I ate. And do I notice difference cognitively? Yes. Um, do I think that my cognitive <laughs> impairment is affected by being home for this really sad time with my family? Absolutely. But at the end of the day, um, I just am happy with this routine. I feel like it's working quite well. And I feel like I'm already making improvements from last month, which is super exciting. For me, I just want to feel like, you know, it's so hard to know if you're actually making improvements unless you have hard numbers and documentation. I used to be so anti-tracking, but tracking has really been helping me and I've been able to track but still give myself some freedom and not be like super hardcore. So I'm just really happy where with uh, where things are. So I was a little bit behind in terms of fasting days and that being like 50-50, but after today, I believe I'm caught up on fasting and feasting days. Tomorrow's a reception for my cousin Luke's funeral. So um, I'm sure I'll definitely have an appetite tomorrow, but we did a really beautiful candlelight vigil today. One thing I can say is that I think it's so easy to blame what we're eating or how we're eating or our pace of eating on emotional things. And this week I could have potentially ate a ton and been like, oh, I'm just so emotional. But the truth was that that wasn't the case. And I think it's so easy for us to blame emotions for eating when it's probably the time that you're on when it comes to your cycle. So I'm really curious to kind of see where I, when I feel that shift in terms of a massive hunger increase so uh, it should be super interesting to see uh, how that plays out the next week or two so that's all i have for you today as always go out there and create a life that you love